hi guys welcome to this channel so guys king and lena came out to clear their name after they were accused of being together when king was with nikki they claimed some of the travel they met in the same location was a coincidence and they went on to call his ex-friend ashley and said that she was never king's girlfriend that liana was the main chick after they made that video it got ashley really angry and she came out on a live video and said that she's ready to bust liana and when she was with king king made her feel like she was the only one she promised liana to put her hands on her whenever she sees her for spilling a lot of teas about her in their video no really this is the best feeling like they just dropped a new video right now about what as long as i'm not a part of it i don't care what on the page? yes i'm sick of that sick of shit god damn why am I following regular niggas' pages from my Insta? I need to send it to my regular page. Okay. I'm like, what's your Insta, bruh? Look like I got some Oreo wins with me. Why they called you a nat nat and that you just running your mouth? Man, you need to clock his ass. He said, who even are you? King said you was not his girl. He never made it. I said that. Who the fuck I was you? never in a relationship. Like, I don't know how many times I have to say that. I never was in a relationship with this nigga. Like, it was never official. Why would I be in a relationship with somebody who just got out of a relationship at my grown ass age? Be fucking for real. Like, no, and who is the who am I? Like, I didn't have a fucking name and a brand before this motherfucker came along. Like, what are we talking about now? Look, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's do this. And y'all can take this. Whatever T page y'all uh, that's on here, make sure y'all take this information and listen carefully and closely for what I'm about to say. Tell them to set up a boxing match between me and Lena. Tell them to set up a boxing match between us two. How about we do that? Because like I said, I'm not going to heal until I get my hands on the problem. She, really, she needs to be touched. And I've been saying this for years and I'm not letting it go. She needs to be touched literally and every time i see her i'm going to literally bless the bitch so how about we like let's let's gather up something like they can use it on their youtube channel whatever because i know they're gonna need it but let's set up a boxing match let's do that let's get physical let's get active in real life let's do that because all this i'm not a youtuber so i don't do the fucking youtube videos and sit here and talk about people i don't do that that's what they do that's how they make their money my money is incoming all the time from different places different areas I ain't got to sit here and lie to people to fucking get money. I don't have to do that. I'm a real hustler over here. And I use my hands. And I'm tired of using my mouth. I'm tired of, like, going back and forth with these damn people. And the crazy thing is, before this nigga even sat in my chair, I didn't even know who the fuck he was. So if you really want to get down and dirty, I didn't know who this nigga was. I didn't know. And I put this in the last live. I didn't know who the fuck this nigga was. And I for sure as fuck didn't know who this bitch was, but she knew exactly who I was. Let's yeah. clock that. She been knew who I was. I never knew who she was. If anything, she was the secret. Let's 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 start there. But you, you think I'm finna trip over it? Man, what the fuck? What the fuck? Be for real. Be fucking for real. Like bitch, Be karma is whooping y'all asses right now. Be fucking for real. Exactly. Karma is whipping y'all asses right now. Y'all need me. Like, y'all need me right now. Set up a boxing match. That's all the talking. That's it. I don't want to talk no more. I've been telling this how I was going to whoop her ass and she still thinks shit is funny. Like, what is we doing now? Are we just going to keep bickering back and forth? Or are we going to get active? Like, the fuck? I am not no internet person. That ain't my steez at all. Tell that bitch to get in the field. Her nigga know how to fight, right? Train her. She gonna fucking need it. <laughs> well, my mama, she gonna need it. One of your old videos was brought back up and included in the tea from today. I'm making... You don't need to leave me alone. She's always been the main. You can be the main, the man. I don't give a fuck. People need to learn this about me. I don't be liking people for real. I just got attachment issues. So like once you do some weird shit, I really be off a person. Like I do not be as hurt about no motherfucking body. Like especially nobody that benefit me. Like 
why the fuck would I be mad about that? I, I don't. It's like, why do you want me to be mad about a man that I've been done talking, like not giving a fuck about ye for years? It's been years. Let it go. I don't, I don't give a fuck about the man at this point. You're the, you're my problem. It's not even the nigga. I don't care about him. But, I need to see these oh things. girl, she's my problem. That's the bitch that sat there and took, took personal information out of his phone and posting it to the fucking internet. Bitch, I will never let you sleep from that. I will never let you sleep. Every time I see you, I got to knock your ass out for that. Like every single time because you wrong for that. So, shit. That's what it is. And that's what it's going to stay. Your clip was brought up just proving everything you said is true. And it since you've been trying to yeah, I've been said this. Like, like I said. I gave y'all the y'all the fucking building blocks and y'all was able to do what the fuck y'all wanted to do with that information. I did not care. What I don't appreciate is everything constantly coming back my way. Like and every time it do, I guess should. I might as well just laugh about it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. When you lay said that she was indeed the one he cheated on me with, now they're saying you didn't lie. I know I didn't lie because I saw with my own two eyes her walking to the hotel. Like, I kept trying to tell y'all that. I saw, and I, crazy thing is, I, this could have been uh, preventable. This could have been preventable. Like, none of this had to even come out. I was chilling by my lonesome when they decided to make that video. That first video, whatever. And he tried to sit here and downplay me like I'm just some ugly ass female. Like, nigga, what? What? So, it didn't even have to come this far. Everything would have still been a secret. Right. But y'all pushed the bear. Y'all kept poking and poking and poking and poking me. Literally kept poking me. So, boom, y'all got what the fuck y'all was. Like, he wasn't staying at your crib. Exactly. Like, I didn't throw that fucking birthday party of his that he had no money to fucking do all by himself that i had to help like come on bro like at the end of the day i did that as a friend and like you being weird like nigga say fucking thank you and keep it pushing i did a lot of shit for you that i did not have to do sit in that fucking hotel night at all during the fucking day because you're sad watching you goddamn cry like nigga come on bro like i was a friend to you before anything like what you did was weird as fuck like i wouldn't like mm, distasteful as fuck this take this tasteful because you ain't want to fucking go home i'm sitting there listening to you fucking mope and cry like come on bro nigga could never never yeah. never never yeah like it's just it's just him trying to sit there and keep downplaying like, you can never downplay me. I was a good-ass fucking person. And everybody knew that. Everybody around you knew that. That's why I'm still friends with all the people you introduced me to. Come on now. If I was the problem, none of your people would fuck with me. Nigga said, I'm in Miami, but you ain't on shit. I said, how? I'm a good time. <laughs> oh. You eggy. Like, and I be giving him alley -oops. I bring, but I'm not gonna fuck Tell that bitch to put on her motherfucking moo moo gown, her big girl moo moo gown, and come see me. Like, what is we still doing on this back and forth chatting about a nigga who ain't got shit compared to the niggas that I fuck with to this day? Like, what are we talking about now? What are we really chatting about? Nigga tried to sit here and redo the whole family channel again, and that shit is ass. You thought you could do it a second time. You look stupid. Just let it go. Now y'all done got me started. And y'all know when I start, I don't shut the fuck up. When I start, it keeps going and going and it doesn't stop. Bitch, I said, how? I'm a good time. He said, that's not good enough. <laughs> that's not a good. So what does he want? He wants me to fuck it. I'm not going to fuck it. Ew. Ugh. Damn, my shit's on 2%. 1%. This shit gonna die on you, bro. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, my God. Why are they doing me like that? I don't know. Making contact with you. That's why his fingers are broke. Nigga, should've just... 
Wait, who you want to fight? Come on, don't come in here starting rumors. Why the fuck would I want to? I love Neek. I love her. I never disliked her. I always loved her. I always had a soft spot for her. Even when all that shit was going on, I always had a soft spot for her. Not that shit. I was sitting on live, literally in my bed, doing a fucking, um, I was doing a face, a facial thing where I was showing all my products and shit. Y'all came on my live telling me, oh, they made a video about you. Da, 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 da. And that's when it all started. That's when I had to go clear my name because I... It's like, it was two years later. Why why are y'all still bringing my name up? <sighs> oh, why was you texting King when he was with me and he said it? If you read them text messages, at that time, we were literally just cool. Like, he was venting to me like he did with his manager. It was the same thing. He literally was venting to me. That was it. We wasn't talking about shit. Nothing. Like, it was a point in time. I was just his goddamn hairstyles and we were friends. Like... Him explaining everything to me, whatever the case was, I was being a friend. Like, I've said that a million times. Like, it, I was a friend. Then we decided to start fucking dating. According to him, it was supposed to be just me and him. I asked him to his face, never forget, we were driving back from John's. John was his old little um, manager. And I said, are we exclusively, like, is, is it just me and you or are we talking to other people? On my daughter's life, I would never put nothing on my daughter's life. On my daughter's life, this man said, it's just me and you. This man tried to confront me about talking to a whole nother person before. Like, and this was after February. So please, it's just like, why are we having this? Why, why are you still lying? Why are we still lying? Y'all seen the messages of him talking about he missed me apparently the time that he was with that girl. Like, are we being realistic right now? I didn't drop every last receipt that there was to drop. So I don't know why y'all keep asking me the same shit. I came with all proof of everything that's ever came out of my mouth. I've had receipts and proof. What has he ever pulled up? Any type of proof. Tell him to find proof that he never talked to me. That I was a random like come on if i was a random why was i why was i spending thanksgiving with you and your family i'm not a random come on now we're not gonna do that like y'all keep asking shit that i already didn't told y'all showed y'all y'all can go back to them t pages and reread them re i mean re-listen to the videos like I'm gonna say anything the other side is wrong. Like, I have no reason to lie. Y'all have to understand. I'm not no ugly bitch. I can get what I can, like, come on now. I then got niggas way better than him. You're not gonna treat me as such. Like, I just needed you. Like, you was doing nothing for me. The only thing you was was a friend. Like, you didn't do shit for me to me to be sitting here feeling some type of way. Like, what? You had nothing. When I met you, when I met this nigga, it wasn't like he was still living in a mansion. It's not like he was still driving the fancy cars and, you know, living lavish. He, he didn't have none of that when I met him. So I was genuinely, like, just cool with this nigga. Like, fucking with this nigga for him. Like, why the fuck would I, like, be sad? You had nothing when I met you. Nothing. Everybody was on your ass, like... Nobody was fucking with you. You had nothing. You barely had fucking friends. You cried about your friends not showing up to your party. Like, what are we even talking about right now? Like, nigga, I've I been had a name. I've been had a brand. I've been had a status. I've been new people bigger than you. Like, what are we talking about? You can never little girl 